I'm trying to complete my biggest Pokemon card challenge yet. Oh my gosh, oh. this is a binder. How many cards does it hold? All 1,008 Pokemon. What's this about exactly? Well, let me tell you a quick story. This happy little eight-year-old kid was me. And that was my first rainbow trout. One year later, I got my first bluegill. And then a year after that, my first largemouth bass. Oh, and a catfish too. Then in the ocean, caught my first yellowtail, yellowfin tuna, and then my first albacore. And at 14 years old, I had already unlocked 27 different species of fish. Today, as a grown adult who still goes fishing, now with a family of his own too, yes, there's one thing that I've realized. There's over 30,000 species of fish in this world. I'm never going to catch them all. At least not in this world. But this is gonna help me catch them all in another hobby of mine. Introducing the Giga Binder. It's insane. 64 cards per page, side loading, 1,024 cards, that is crazy. And I'm gonna name him Chad. Huh? who is also gonna help me keep track of my goal to collect every single Pokemon in the world. All 1,008 Pokemon since Scarlet and Violet came out. Voltex. <laughs> it's so big. Oh my God. Yeah, that's 19.6 pounds without any cards in it yet. And here's the thing. I have to fill Chad with every Pokemon by card party. My event in June. And if I fail, I have to give Chad and all the cards I collect along the way to somebody at card party. And to start us off, we have none other than Pokedex entry number 241, Mill Tank. Okay, now I gotta figure out where spot 241 is. You see, every Pokemon has a different Pokedex number. For example, number four is Charmander, and number 25 is Pikachu. It's like a catalog of all the Pokemon in the world. The problem is, the Pokedex number is different than the number on the bottom of the card, which is related to the set that it's from. And this is gonna make this Pokedex challenge a little difficult. Uh, yeah, okay, the numbering thing might be a bigger problem than I thought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And after verifying the number of slots per page, 64. Four, math, 128, 256, 5, 4, 3, 2, 241. See, this is why math is important. So you can put your Pokemon cards in a giant custom binder named Chad. Anyway, with 1,007 more cards to go, I take a deep breath and I start to wonder, what in the world am I getting myself into? But before psyching myself out too much, okay. I just decide to go for it. Got more cards? And because I'm not gonna break any master sets that I have for this, I'm gonna start with my box of extra hits. Off the front, a Mewtwo V full art promo. Mewtwo's Pokedex number is 150, which means I gotta go to the third page and start counting. 129, 30, 31, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 40, 40, 40, 40. 50. That's two down out of 1,008. By the way, in case you're curious, that's 0.2%. Next, we got Mew, so 151. Okay, well, at least that one is easy, and it goes right after the Mewtwo. Next, the Skeledurge SIR from Paldea Evolved, a newer Pokemon, which I definitely do not know the Pokedex number for. So I grab my computer, look it up, and... 911. Oh, you're gonna need to call 911 after all this. I try to calculate how many pages in the binder this will be. 128 plus 256, so that would be 50. My math just isn't mathing right now, and my head is about to explode. <laughs> Why is mathing hard? Finally, after a couple of minutes, I get an idea. This is good. This is good. Post it note. 1 to 64. That's right. I'm not going to label each card slot, but I am going to label each page. Hey, I didn't plan this through very well, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to figure things out as you go. I call that ready, fire, aim. Anyway, after labeling all of the pages, it was time to put the Skeledurge in its place. 900, 1, 2, 3, 4, 11. So yeah, that took about seven minutes. And I'm hoping the next one is going to be a little bit faster. Next, we got Meowscarada. And this one is 256. No, not the number of the set. Oh my gosh. Yeah, finding the Pokedex number every time like this is gonna slow me down so much. 908, okay. I found the spot, but I'm also finding out how daunting a task this is really going to be. I finished sets of Pokemon in just a day or two before. Let's go! And in some rare cases, a couple of hours. We did it! But those were different. This is literally every Pokemon that exists spanning across 25 years 
and nine generations of Pokemon. Even if I was fast and added a new card every minute, at a thousand minutes, that's over 16 hours. Hours that I just don't have immediately available. How am I gonna complete this in just six months? Have I already lost this challenge even before it really started? You see, I own four different businesses, one of which has 10 full-time employees. Deep Pocket Monster has been a side project in the little spare time that I have. Is it even possible to finish this thing before card party? I need to complete this, but how? And that's when it hits me. So many Pokemon. So how do you crush a big goal? By chopping it up into smaller ones. Of course, Gen 1, 151 Pokemon. Makes sense to focus on that first. We're gonna go generation by generation, and we're gonna start at the beginning with Gen 1, the first 151 Pokemon from the Kanto region. And we've already got two of the cards in the binder from the original 151, and I immediately start looking at my extra hitbox for more. And just like that, we're already starting to build up a nice little pile. There's the Zapdos and the Slowbro. We got the Aerodactyl and an Arcanine, and the pile keeps growing. And after looking through the entire box, I move to the front page and start popping these Gen 1 Pokemon into the Giga Binder. Number three is Venusaur. Number nine is Blastoise. And it starts off okay, but unfortunately not knowing the Pokedex number is still slowing me down, even with the list in front of me. Nine tails, nine tails, nine tails, nine tails. Why isn't nine tails number nine? That would make so much more sense. Alakazam, 65. We got the Beedrill at number 16, Butterfree at number 12. And after 30 more minutes and more Pokemon going into this binder, including the Charizard here in slot number six, it's becoming very clear. I'm nowhere near finished. So yeah, we got a lot to go. And remember, I can't break up any master sets. The bulk I have is already reserved for card party. So this is all we have to start with. And I know exactly where we need to go. That's right, TC's Rockets, my home away from home. And as I awkwardly carry this thing inside, I see our main man. Hey Brad, what do you think? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Here, this is a binder. How many cards does it hold? All 1,008 Pokemon could fit in here. We'll get there hopefully, but for now, I'm only looking for any versions of the first 151 Pokemon. Pat, this is crazy. Crazy is right, although I don't think he's totally surprised. That binder is so cool. And as we make our way to the Pokemon area of the store and clear out some room, we get to work right away. Got a Vaporeon. Uh, do I have Vaporeon already? I do not, I need that. Great, that's one of many, and it's at this point, I just start firing away. Squirtle, we're gonna go for the big ones. Oh my gosh, yes. Uh -oh. Articuno, Machamp. First edition? Uh, sure. I mean, that's not, I know I know how this works now. <laughs> Kabutops, probably the Victory Bell. I like that one. E-Series, Chansey, Pidgeotto. Hypno. Down the line we go. Some are also Japanese, some are old, and some are new. Doesn't matter what set it's from, we just want the Pokemon. I'm just cleaning out your whole cabinet. And after several more minutes picking apart this cabinet. Ponita, ooh, first edition, let's go. And Starmie. First edition, Starmie. Sure, why not? I decide to mark off what we have so far. But the trouble is, even though I have a list, Finding the numbers is still proving to be difficult. Okay, where's Kangaskhan? What's what's your guess? And that's when Brad drops a knowledge bomb. Actually, it says the bomb of the card. Huh? Next to the level. So the vintage cards, Whoa. they did the number on that. Did they? Yeah. Yo. No way. That's a discovery right Fun there. Fun fact. Bro. I am such a noob. I did not know that. Oh, Brad's always teaching me new stuff. I learn something new every day. Thanks, Brad. You are the goat. And at this point, after finding the bigger hits from the cabinet, we switch to gear two and go into bulk mode. A through F. A through F. Okay. As we sort through this box and find more cards that we need. Whoa, bro. It's becoming obvious. There's gotta be a better way to do this. We are finding cards, but it's taking so much time. I'll figure that out later because, yo, a fan arrived at the store and he couldn't help but wonder what we are up to. Yo, that's big. I can't even see what I'm doing right now. Thank you so much for watching, Sebastian. Yeah. You're awesome. And there's Brad still helping out with a gloom in his hand. Ooh, and it's an E-Series gloom from Expedition. That's hot. <laughs> this is why I love Brad. Oh, Bulbasaur. It's gotta be a Bulbasaur. Yeah, Bulbasaur. There we go. Bulbasaur. Caterpie. Far-fetched. 
That's a little far-fetched. <laughs> Dude, you're having way too much fun. After the bulk boxes, we head into some binders and pick off some more. Jinx, we need Jinx. Oh yeah, here we go. Full picks. Boom. Magnemite. Boom. Parasect. Boom. Magmar. Angela. Coughing. Psyduck. Ekans. Staryu. Jigglypuff. Goldbeam. Zubat. Persian. Ooh, I need a um, Magikarp. Do you have a nice Magikarp? And of course, Brad finds a killer Magikarp to add to the binder. Calling Phantoms versus That's a nice Magikarp right there. We'll splash that in there. And after over an hour in the store, I circle the missing cards and count them up to see where we're at. Four Tortle, Metapod, Weedle, Kakuna. Let's see. One, two, three, four, 15, 19, 20. 21, 22, 22. 49 more. 49 remaining out of 151. We have to move a little faster here. And guess what? Super Nito. We do. Nito King. More boxes out of the back. More missing Pokemon are found. Slow poke, slow poke. Slowpoke. I'm the slowpoke? Is that what you're saying? And after yet another hour in the store, uh, so much to think about, I was able to steal another hour of Brad's time. And I hope that's okay with his boss. It's the card that we were seeking and we found it. Sorry. Uh, we're getting there, dude. This is an epic looking tentacle from Primal Clash. It's going into the binder. Then a net. Then a moth. Then a net. Then a moth. Yo. We've been at this for a couple hours, and after some old man stretches. Right. Excuse me. And a sweet Moltres promo pickup. 15. Just 15 more to go. I noticed this gong on top of this door. When do you uh, when do you ring the gong? Do I ring the bell? I don't know what it's for, but I really want to hit it. I'll do it, but only if I finish Gen 1 while here. Wait, is that a magic sorting hat? Anyway. Rapidash, Rapidash, got it. As I get close to the end of the list, let's just look and see if anything strikes us. Farfetch. Yes, it does. Not so farfetch now, is it? Oh, dude, first edition jungle. Ooh, melting. Can't get it out. That was weird. Horsey. Here's where we're at. Tentacruel. Whoa, bro, right here. Tentacruel. I feel like we're close, but my tracking efforts have been pretty weak today. Voltorb. All right, Voltorb's the only one we're missing. Did you just put this down? No way. We gotta make sure the binder has no holes in it up to 151. So let's process those. And then I get to ring the gong. If it's complete. If it's complete. And as we calculate the price of everything, Brad comes in with both good news and bad news. Good news is What's the good it news? It costs $374. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Bad news is that we can miss one. You think I'm missing one? Yeah. We'll see. I think we got it all. And after paying for the lot and seeing Pokevault's face in my vision. Hey, look at that. That stack. Let's put him in. It was time to get to work. <sighs> so this is 51, 50, 49, 48 for Dragonair. Sort them in order first. Would that make more sense? Sort it before you ignore it. First, Brad and I spend a few minutes sleeving all the cards, and then I move over to the tables for more room and start putting the cards in order before I pop them into the binder. One by one, I order them by Pokedex number, and it's starting to become apparent this binder is going to look rad with all the Pokemon coming from different sets. If only I could do this faster, because it's already been more than three hours, and I'm tired, and I'm cramping up. But I want to see this binder full, and I really want to hit that gong. Oh, oh man, that cracked my back. Ah. It's time to see what we got. Ready? Bulbasaur, number one. Boom. And after Bulbasaur, an Ivysaur, and so on. And the binder is starting to fill up and look amazing. Dude, look at that. That's looking good. Got the Jigglypuff, Wigglytuff. And as more Pokemon go in, the more excited I get until after I put this Diglett in. Doug Trio. Doug Trio, Doug Trio, Doug Trio. Doug Trio is missing. Doug Trio. It appears we don't have them all. And then right before I finish the page, another one seems to be missing. Just there's so much. This is supposed to be Doug Trio. This is supposed to be Kadabra. Next page. All I can do now is keep going. Machoke, the Machamp, Bellsprout, and the Weep. Been. Okay, we're missing another one. Oh gosh, okay. Tentacool, Geodude, Graveler, Golem. Yo, and just let me point out that no symbol error electrode from jungle. That is awesome. Usually it would have a jungle there. Executor, Cubone, Marowak, Hitmon. Another hole for Hitmonlee. Ah. No worries though, we keep going. Chansey, Kangaskhan, Goldeen, Star You. Yo, we got a first edition Star Me. <laughs> and another page, almost complete. Yo, look at this. It looks so good. Except the two holes. And as we finish this thing off on the next page. All on Phantoms, Reverse Hollow, Magikarp, into the Gyarados, Lapras, Ditto, Eevee. Then we got Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Porygon, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres. Oh, dude, the last one I have right now. Dratini, Dragonair, Dragonite, Mewtwo, Mew. 100 and... 
140, 147. Brad was totally right. I didn't have them all, but Brad may have the rest. Hey Brad, we need four more. Weeping Bell, Hitmonlee. Um... My brain is mush at this point. It's been four hours. I can't even remember. Doug Trio, Kadabra, Weeping Bell, Hitmonlee. Can you help me out? Let's finish it off. I want to ring the gong. Oh, wait. Doug Trio. First target acquired. Three more to go. Ooh, four moving though. Then out of nowhere, Brad comes in with target number two. Okay. That's what I feel like right now. So close. We got Seamus looking for the last two. Everyone here is pitching in. And right then, this card kicks me right in the face. Boom, we got it. That means the Kadabra is, Ooh, that's it's gonna be it. the hardest one to find, and you think about that. Brad is right. Kadabra was in the first few vintage sets, but because of a lawsuit, the name wasn't allowed to be used until recently when 151 came out. What if Kadabra isn't even here? I head back to the tables to add in what I picked up, and I'll search every nook and cranny of the store for Kadabra if I have to. The trio. Kadabra goes right there. Weep and bell. Come on, Lee. And then all of a sudden, without saying a word, Brad comes in Let's clutch. Let's go. Let's go. We did it. Brad, I would be honored if you could put this in here for me. Can I ring the gong now? All 151 Pokemon from Gen 1 have been acquired. We learned a lot today and we're only getting started because Gen 2 is coming up next. And trust me, it's gonna get a little crazy. I need a Wobbuffet. If anybody has a Wobbuffet, excuse me, sorry. Wobbuffet, Wobbuffet. You have a Wobbuffet. Can I get every single Pokemon in the Giga Binder by June? I'm gonna hit the gong for good luck. And you can hit subscribe to come along for the ride. That was actually a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. That's a binder. This yeah. is a binder. Good job, thanks.